Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this elegant earrings with 10 mm chaton Mayuki beads and here I'm using the beads that my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor sent me but uh, of course you could find them in many places if you want to buy them. Now consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. And now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 delica beads and one is gray the other is white and by the way you could use one color if you want i just want to make a contrast between two colors and to be more visible for teaching purposes and here i'm using 15 again mayuki delica beads and here guys these are four millimeter bicons in emerald color they are not visible at the black background that I'm showing you those here. And as I mentioned, most of the beads that I use are from Erica Sandor's collection. These are 10 millimeter gorgeous Chaton crystals. I showed you already bezeling of I think 10 and 8 millimeters Chaton Airy Volley. And you could see them in the playlist that I will be linking down there, as I mentioned. And uh, these are 8 by 15 pure pearls, or you could call them teardrops. Uh, you could skip them or you could add them, it's up to you. By the way, you could do only this middle part if you want. It will still look beautiful. And skip the pier and this uh, bicon at the top okay and what else i'm using here are these earring findings sliver bags in silver color you could use other uh, earring findings you like and by the way down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, guys, let's continue. This here is Fireline. I'm using 0.17 millimeters, but it works also with 0.15, which is 0.006 inches. And here I'm using size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or size 12. It will also work. I'm using scissors and the pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and pull. Okay, and now I'm going to take about four feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to pick up 28 of this beautiful Great Delica size 11 hole. Okay, I'll pick 28 and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have 28 beads of this grey color. Why 28? If you remember, there was a chart how to start bezel with different sizes of Chaton Rivoli et Cabochon. And for the size with, that is 10 millimeter, it was 28 beads. Okay, and I'm following those steps and I'm sure it will work. Now guys, what I want to do next is go through all of those beads here in this direction. And I want to make a circle of those 28 beads. I'm reinforcing this circle now. Okay guys, and as I have this circle of 28, maybe you think it's too white to make a bezel, but don't worry because these 28 beads are in fact my first two rows of the peyote stitch. 
And if you're not familiar, don't worry. Now I will explain why those are two rows instead of one. Uh, well, because when I add the next row, they arrange like in a mosaic fashion. And uh, in fact, uh, this arrange in two rows and this is the third one. You will see what I'm talking about. Now I'm taking one white bead and as I'm exiting here through this gray bead, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following, just like this. And when I pull, I have this. Then again, I'm taking one white, I skip the, the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, you see how those beat zigzag and in fact this is the first row, this is the second row and this is the third row of my peyote. This is how you count them diagonally. Okay, if it's uh, confusing for you don't worry just follow the steps and everything will work, I promise. Okay, so I think you got the idea and you could continue doing this skipping one and going through the following. And when you finish this row, I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last white bead. And again, I skip one and I go through the following. Okay, you see what I have now and in my next step, what I want to do is go here in this direction diagonally through those beads. And I want to reach this inner circle. Okay, and I'm ex exiting through one of the beads that zigzag in my inner circle. And now because I want to make a casing of this here, this chaton, uh, I need to use a smaller size of beads to make the curve. That is why I'm going to take 15 Mayuki bead, 15 0 And as I'm exiting through one of the beads that's sticking out, in my inner circle, I'm going through the other one that is sticking out. Okay, and I pull tight. Then again, I'm going to take one. And I exit in the other bead that is sticking out. In this way, I'm making an inner curve here. And I want to make a casing for the crystal I'm using here. And the best way to do this is to use a smaller size beads like I'm doing now. Okay, and I will continue in the same fashion to finish this row. And when I'm up to the other side of this row, I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, meet me here. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last silver 15 0 from this row. And now what I want to do is go through one of those newly added 15 0s and I want to add one more row of 15 0s again between those zigzagging beads. I'm just filling the gaps. So I'm taking one 15 0 and I'm going here through this one. Okay, like this. Then again, one. And I go here like this. Again, one, go here. And it is absolutely the same 
like I did before I'm just filling the gaps in my peyote stitch my circular peyote bezel and when I continue like this I will meet you here at this side okay guys and what I need to do here is add my last silver bead from this row I'm going here in the last silver okay now I have this and this will be the center of my work you see how it would look finally when I close this bezel now what I want to do is go in this direction diagonally like this and I want to reach this white row of beads okay and here guys what I want to do is again repeat the steps that I showed you already make another peyote row and again with these 15 0 beads okay I'm adding them one by one between my white beads and when I pull you see how everything curves like this and this is a wanted effect because I want to put my chaton inside and make this casing for it tight okay now I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm at the last step I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I do here I need to add my last of this 15 o here is the hole where I'm adding it but before I add it I want to take my chaton and put it here inside because in the next row I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to put it in already and now you see here I'm adding my last white bead uh, sorry silver bead from this row then I'm going through the white and through the following silver you see I'm editing exiting out of one of those silvers that I just added and here is my chaton inside and I need to make another row in order to finish everything and make it stay inside and not move anywhere okay that is why I'm taking one bead and I'm going through the following silver again filling the gaps nothing difficult nothing complicated somebody thinks bezeling is a difficult work but it's not it's just a circular peyote and you repeat 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 the rows and you use two sizes of Mayuki and that's it okay but if you're up to here I'm sure this will not be any difficult for you that is why I'm going to leave you do this by yourself until the end by adding silver beads everywhere and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row and I pull tight and you see now my chaton is really tight inside this casing and what I want to do is go through one of those white beads by the way you could stop up to here and add earring finding and finish your earring if you like smaller earrings or you could turn it into a ring by making a ring band but now I'm going to show you the next steps of my project I take three silver beads and I go through the following white fix them a little bit okay then again what I need are three 15 0 and I go through the following white I'm going through the whites that is why I use different color so you could see where you're going 
when you make this row. Now I do this again, take three beads and go through the following white. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And by the way, you could also finish your earring like this or your ring. Now I will show you an extension of this work. Okay, I'm exiting through the middle one of those three beads that I added. And here I'm going to take nine silver beads. Okay, I have here nine. Okay, nine beads. And as I'm exiting through one of those beads that are sticking out the most, I'm skipping the next one and going through the following. Okay. Now I have this. Don't worry, it looks like this. We'll fix it in the next step. Now what I want to do is take nine more. And I'm skipping the next bit that's sticking out the most and going through the following. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, until the end. Take nine, go here. Take nine, go here. Okay, and I'll meet you at this side. Okay, guys, and I have here my last nine beads from this row. And pay attention where I'm going through the very first bead from this row. Okay? Now, what I want to do is reach the center of those nine beads. And this will be the fifth beat, okay? So I'm going through five beats in this direction, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and this is the middle fifth beat. And now what I wanna do is take one of those crystals and I wanna slide it down like this. Then what I wanna do is take five of those silver beads and by the way if you want you could skip this step and not add this and directly add your earring finding here okay now i have five and what i want to do is go back through the crystal just like this backwards through it okay and I will turn it in this direction. Then again, what I want to do is take five, okay, five beads, and this time I'm going back, not through the crystal, but through this middle silver bead that I mentioned, the middle of the nine beads. So here I have four, here I have four, and this is the middle one. And I'm going back through it when I'm attaching my crystal. Then what I want to do is go here through two beads in this direction. Like this. Skip the one that's on my way, the silver one, and go through these two beads. Okay, and pull. Here, what I want to take are three silver beads. Go through the next two. Skip the one that's on my way like this. And go directly through the crystal. Then what I want to do is exit through this middle of the three beads that I just added in my previous step, okay, like this. I have this. This is the front part of my earring and the other one is the back part. 
So I'm exiting through this silver and what I want to do is take my earring finding but arrange it so this should be the front part of my earring. So I take two seed beads then my earring finding go through it and then take two more seed beads and then go back through this one here okay so now what i want to do is reinforce And I want to go back through all of those beads. And reach the main part of my earring again. Okay, and how I do, what I do now is that I go here through four beads in this direction i'm skipping the bead that's on my way and i go through the following beads aiming for the angle and then i pull then what i do is that i go again through four beads skip the one that's on my way and go through the following forming a beautiful angle here if it doesn't want to form right away pull the bead and then pull like this okay now again four skip the one that's on my way and this time guys I want to go through two beads in this direction. Okay. And here, what I want to take are five silver beads. Okay, I have here my five. And this is where I'm going to attach my pure pearl or teardrop crystal, call it whatever you like. Now I will go through those two beads here before the angle okay just like this now again i'm going through these two beads then i will go here through the middle silver bead okay and here guys what i want to take are four silver beads okay four of them then i'm going to take my pure pearl and i'm sliding it like this then i'm going to take three more beads also slide those down okay this is what i have now then i'm going to skip these three beads and go through the pearl and then i'm going through three of the four beads that i added here so i'm going through three of them now what i want to do is take just one silver bead and go backwards through this bead here at the center okay now this is what i have here and now what is left is to finish my earring by adding the additional angles here okay so i exited one bit more than i intended to so i will go back here now what i want to do is keep this bit and make here 
again an angle and pull and I'm going to repeat this guys two more times Okay, now I have this and now I need to make a knot and how I'm making my knot I'm making here a loop going once and going second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull Then I'm going through some beads and this in this direction I pull and I hide my knot between my beads and then it's time to cut my thread. Okay guys and now my elegant bezeled earrings with 10 millimeter chaton are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you make me more and more tutorials you could check description for full list of materials link to my other similar tutorials facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for paypal donations link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me